that is in this place that is going to transform you, that is going to change you, and is going to rearrange you, and you will carry it as you leave, and you will take it to your world. Hallelujah. We all know Lorich to be a worshiper. Hallelujah. Not just in music, but she's a worshiper in all sorts, according to the scriptures. The Bible talked about people worshiping God in the lifting of their hands. Yes. Talked about with their offerings. It talked about worshiping God with their pronunciation, not their pronouncement, their proclamation. It also talked about worshiping God in psalms and hymns and all spiritual songs. Yes. Wow, we're going to do all today. I guess you're ready. I expect somebody to give the Lord a shout in this Hallelujah. place. Hallelujah. And to go further, Lorette helped us to give a chronicle of our testimonies about worship, which is tagged the 30, 30 truths, truths about, about worship. worship. Wow. 30 truths about worship. Some of you received those nuggets from her. We're going to be dealing with some of those things today. And I think, brother, that you have some to start with. In fact, I don't know how many of you received those truths, but that's exactly what they are. Yeah. That's exactly what they are. They are infallible. They are unchangeable. They are truths according to what God says and according to the word of God. Mm. You see, one of the truths that she talked about, she said, in true worship, God requires the totality of your being, wow. not just your body or the words. He wants all of you Spirit, soul, and body. Wow. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. You see, I don't know what problems that you may have had before you came here. Okay? But there is something that you need to realize about when you want to worship God. The place of worship is not the place of problems. Hallelujah. The place of worship is not the place of sickness. The place of worship is not where you think about what is bothering you. No. If that is what you were thinking before you came, just get that thought out of your mind. I guess I can cut you here. You know, looking at worship from, is it required the totality of your being? Yes. The word worship came from a Greek word, wazaz, and the Hebrew word, yada, which means to give your totality to God. In other words, remember, in the ancient times and in the kingdoms controlled and dominated by kings and still ruled by kings, when you come before a king, What's expected of you is not the word you like, you prostrate flat, indicating that, oh king, everything that I am, everything that I own, everything that I have belongs to you. That is what we do when we come to worship. That exactly. means that's why the king can tell you, I want your very wife. And you don't have a know about it. Imagine if man can do this, what else can you give to God? Exactly. Wow. You see, wow. Exactly. The truth. Now, even though miracles will happen here, the truth of the matter is that is not the reason why you worship. So you, you, you wonder why, 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 why would I worship? You worship God because of who God is. You give him the totality of your being. You give him the totality of your spirit. You give him the totality of, totality of everything you own. But you see, there's something about God. God cannot stand iniquity. He cannot stand sickness. He cannot stand poverty. So in the place of worship where God is, sickness cannot stay. That is why when you worship God, it's, it's, it's supernaturally automatic. Sickness will leave. Poverty would leave. When you give him everything, he gives you his everything. And his everything is complete, is total. His healing is significant in your body, your soul, and your spirit. And that's why I said you will never leave here the same way that you came. Hallelujah. In continuing the 30 truths of about worship with Laura Chair, she said, in true worship, we are equipped with divine strategies, how true, to ensure victory in the affairs of life. Wow. Hallelujah. This reminds me of um, Acts chapter 16. The Bible talked about, and at midnight that Paul and Silas, when they prayed and they sang, my goodness, these men were in shackles. They were bound inside the prison and they were heavy guards around rather than complaining the economy wow why did the governor keep us on lockdown why this and why that they rather lift their hands they were worshiping even with shackles my goodness 
They were busy worshiping God. And Bible said, and at midnight, Paul and Silas, they prayed and they sang such that the other prisoners heard them. That means they were murmuring it. They were in, mm, mm. They sang, they sang aloud. Other prisoners heard them to the extent that the foundations of the prison were, were shaken. shaken. Hallelujah. Wow, and the shackles broke off. If God can do it that day, then, that Hallelujah. same way, Jesus Christ is the same yesterday. He is the same today and he is the same forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we worship God today, coronavirus has lost its victory. Hallelujah. As we worship God today, our nations are restored back to us. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. 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 You see, one beautiful thing you need to realize is, you see these 30 truths about worship? I, I was discussing with Lorech, and she said they came to her in a place of worship. And we are, so, we are so privileged that God always brings people to show us what to do and how to do those things. Lorech is a worshiper. I've known her for years. And for God to show her these things, God is teaching her so she can show us how to worship. And it's, if, if you follow people like this, you can never go astray. And I, I want to encourage all of you. I don't know how many of you that are already following Lorech on YouTube. How many of you are subscribed on Lorech channel on YouTube? Okay, so if you are not, I encourage you to take up your phones even while the program is going on take up your phones and you look up for the real Lorech. that is her name on youtube it's all together the real Lorech. okay and then you make sure you subscribe somebody called me and asked me what my inspiration was in writing this particular song and I told her that so many things inspire me so many things but for this particular song I was in my room on my bed my usual position when I pray and I started thinking about the way God is so in my life you know the way he always supplies the grace needed for every phase of life. The way he's gone ahead of me, he knows what is coming up. So he's gone ahead of me and made everything ready. But you know, if you don't know, you'll be anxious. So I find myself very much at peace, you know. So um, no matter what is going on around me, my mouth is always filled with thanksgiving. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And that's how this song came. Ekele O Tito Diriki Chineke Ekele O Tito Diriki The Lord is my Lord, He's my Lord. How could I worry? All I can offer is praise and thanksgiving. That's all I can offer. So that's the meaning of the song. Oh, Father, we give you thanks. Why don't you lift your hands and just give Him praise? Bless His name. Bless His name. Bless His name. I want us to be more conscious of all that God is in our lives. When we're more conscious of that, then we're not bothered about anything in the world. Be more conscious, especially if Jesus is the Lord of your life. There is no reason whatsoever to worry. Go ahead and give him praise. Go ahead and worship. Go ahead and bless him. This is your moment. Your moment. Oh, we give you all the praise, oh God. Your love for me is deeper than the sea. Your name is high. Higher than our name. Oh, thank you, Father, for your mercy. That flow.
Having um, a health challenge. In fact, it was after the concert that she shared the testimony with me. Okay? In the night, she has these seizures in the night. But you see, that day, because we came with a bus. So she was sitting right there in the hall at the downstairs after the program, the concert that day. She called me as the cell leader. See, Brother Henry, something happened to me at that very concert. See, what happened? He said, as she gets home that night, those seizures stopped. And to the time, I, sh I shared the testimony with my esteemed group pastor, Pastor, Yin pastor Yinka, you know. He said, it stopped since that day till now. So I, I know when, when, when I was privileged to come for this one, I know at the end of this concert tonight, I will have greater testimonies. I just know. Thank you so much. Did you just hear that? Miracle happened and it's still happening tonight. Thank you, brother. I think that testimony will put it, will amplify it for you. Hallelujah. Can we have one more person here? Okay, I saw someone here, sir. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you can come up now. I know you're about raising your hand. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Praise the Lord. It's such an honor to be here tonight. And uh, one of the beautiful things about this concert every year I privilege to attend is the awesome aura of divine presence that we enjoy right here. You know, it's not, um, as a pastor, we do see a lot of events come up, but this is just quite unusual. And let me just tell you one thing I've realized by experience in coming for Lorich Miracle Worship Concert. You don't just worship here and love the atmosphere. There is a deposit of that awesome presence. And you just go home with it. And it changes what you do in your secret place. I'm saying what has been my personal experience. So it's something that I would want you to expect if today is your first time of being here because you will not recover from this experience in a hurry. Sit back and enjoy the second episode. God bless you. Thank you, sir. Wow. You will not recover from it in a hurry. I take that home. Thank you, sir. Like never and ever, glory to God. Keep clapping till she comes up. Come on. Oh, thank you. 
Holy Spirit. You deserve the glory and the honor. We lift our hands in worship as we praise your holy name. You deserve the glory. As we praise your holy name, you are great, you do miracles so great, there is no one else like you, there is no one else like you, you are great.
I will sing to you a new song But you have your way Thank you Lord Thank you Jesus Go ahead and tell him You have your way When Jesus has his way
us. We give him all the glory. He alone deserves everything in me. He deserves it all. Oh, Kayende, me pahuse tena.
is God who is more than anyone can say, who is indescribable. None, 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 none like you. We give you glory. You are righteous, holy, faithful, awesome, mighty, glorious. None like you, oh God, in heaven, on earth, beneath the earth, above the heavens. <laughs>
calamities they're talking about in the nations of the world. What can you see in it? My eyes are fixed. All I see is Jesus. All I hear is Jesus. All I know is Jesus. You know why? Darkness can never comprehend light. So all we see is Jesus. Through this crisis, the name of Jesus will be glorified. All we see is Jesus. He's the rock on which we stand. A faith foundation. Can we sing? All I see is you.
minister to the Lord, he also ministers to our spirits. We minister to him, he ministers to our spirits. Oh, we give you the glory. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for your presence in this place. We thank you, oh God, for the rich fellowship of your spirit. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, oh God, for the new doors that you have opened. We thank you for the solution that we have received. We thank you for the peace that you have restored. Lord, we thank you for the new levels that we have stepped into. We thank you for the victories that have been won in this place of worship. Lord, we thank you for the enlightenment that has come to our eyes. Father, we thank you for the healings that have taken place in our bodies that we may not even be aware of at this time. Father, we thank you for the joy that we have in our hearts that no man can give. No peace in the world, but because we're in you, you are our peace. Father, we thank you. We give you praise. For we know that you have done exceeding, abundantly, above all we could ever ask or imagine. According to the power that is at work in us. Glory, 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 glory. born again because you can't miss out of what is going on in this place anybody maybe somebody invited you you're not born again because there is no way you can experience what you know we're experiencing until you come in you need to be inside anybody like that it's easy i just lead you through anybody okay is there anybody that came in with any form of ailment you came in with any form, any kind. Anybody like that? I've got good news for you. You received. Like perfect healing. Complete. Wholeness. Restoration. Divine restoration. You know the kind that the doctors can't do anything about? That kind. That kind. That kind. You know when they tell you, just go home. That kind. That's what you receive. Congratulations. You know that kind that nobody has a solution for you. That kind. That's the one God specializes in. So that when he does it, there is nothing, there is nobody to give the glory to. You now come back and give him glory to his name. That kind. That's the kind you receive. Glory! <laughs> Hallelujah. And with this, we've come to the end of this wonderful, wonderful concert. Please, you may be seated. 
We've stood for quite a while. You don't want this to end. Well, by God's grace, we will still gather. But I'd like to say a very big thank you to every single one of us that came out. You were actually specially selected because this is a live recording. You are the live audience. You have worshipped so many blessings. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. And then I'd like to say thank you to God Almighty. This God. You know when I start talking about God, let me time myself. Oh, Father Lord. Father Lord, thank you. Thank you so much for, for just being you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Alan, and this is my pretty wife, Effie. I'm taking away a rejuvenated spirit, a fresh and loyalty, a newer level. That's what I came to get to. Right? This is my first time, actually, our first time. And I didn't expect this. Living here, I thank God I came. It was more than what it is, especially in these times. It is what Jesus ordered for us. You know what they say in the world? This is what the doctor ordered. For us, this is what Jesus ordered. It was worth it. And praise God, bless God for this whole fellowship we have today. I'm so excited because I know that. I, I, all I can say is that it's done. Everything is done. Everything is done. Everything is done. The nations of the earth, everybody, they are fear. Men's hearts failing for fear. I know it's done. It's taking care of that thing. Like Laura said, she's the one called the name. That thing is gone. This, this is it's, it's so wonderful to worship in a time like this and experience God. And it's, it's just wonderful. I just know that everything is done. There is peace in all the nations of the earth. Okay, I'm Dickness Lebechi as a Good evening. Wow, beautiful, awesome. I've been transported, elevated to another level of glory. Wow, it was amazing. Yes, when you minister to the Lord, the Lord ministers to you. Even while in your home, minister to Him, and your life will never remain the same. You will not be afraid again. Yes, fear is gone, fear is defeated, fear is vanquished because we worshiped. Praise the Lord. Okay, but I hear is my name. Uh, it's, it's been an awesome time, you know, um, when I was called to attend this program, I came with great expectations because the last time I came, it was a life transforming worship and miracles. So um, today, in fact, my expectations were so much and I tell you, all my expectations were met and um, I'm going home today rejoicing because I've received much even more than my expectations today. So I'm so glad. My encouragement to them is, there's always a solution to any issue. The solution is Jesus. And when you worship and praise him, you are actually concentrating on the rating, which is Christ. So I, I, I want to tell you out there, probably you are struggling to make it or to get it up there. Focus attention to what La Rich is doing. Worship, praise him and he will fix it for you.